Okay, I'm having to make another video because uh, the news media here in Memphis is still uh, hammering us pretty good uh, for whatever reason they want uh, firefighters and uh, police officers to uh, to be the bad guys here in the city. And I'm here to explain our side of it, of exactly how um, we work, how we uh, get our holidays, um, and our vacation time uh, from the city of Memphis. Uh, the news report... Uh, last night, it starts off very negative towards the employees of Memphis. So just listen to this statement. Would you like to be off for 72 days each year and still be paid for them? Some Memphis employees are doing just that, and taxpayers are footing the bill. So right there, it's, it's, it started off negative, okay? It's already hard enough being a firefighter in the city with the news media constantly talking about how much uh, sick time abuse there is, the brownouts, uh, so um, let's set the record straight, okay? I'm going to tell you how we earn our holiday paycheck, how, uh, how many hours I actually worked last year, and then you can decide for yourself, uh, whoever's watching this video, um, how you feel about it. Uh, in their report, it talks about a one-year employee versus a 25-year employee. Uh, their 25-year employee in this report uh, they say they get 13 paid holidays, which the city observes, 13 holidays. They get 30 sick days, 25 vacation days, plus four bonus days. And they said that adds up to 72 days off a year, and some people are taking that. That's not true. In order for you to earn the four bonus days, you've got to come to work every day and not call in sick. So there, your 30 days of sick time that that employee had earned, uh, plus their four bonus days doesn't add up because in order for them to get the four bonus days, they have to call in, uh, they have to be at work every day and not call in sick. So that's four bonus days right there. So that's 72 days or so. They can tr you can forget that, okay? That's a false statement. But they want you to believe that the city employees are um, just abusing the crap out of the system. And uh, for the majority of us, we are not. We're uh, hard workers. We're doing our best for the city. Uh, we've dedicated ourselves to uh, making sure the city is uh, safe and that the public is safe. So real quick, I'm going to just break down some things for you. And at the end, i got a little tidbit for you, so pay attention. All right. So we're going to look at uh, what my shift worked. I'm on B shift with the Memphis Fire Department. My shift worked 121 days last year. Uh, if you break down the 121 days, that's hours worked into 2,904 hours, okay? I worked 112 days last year because I had nine vacation days that I earned, and that's what I earned for the amount of time that I have on the job, only nine vacation days. Hours worked was 2,688, okay? So if you want to break that down even further just to compare it to a 40-hour employee, if you look at a 40-hour employee over here, if you work... Uh, 52 weeks out of the year, 40 hours, that's 2,087 hours work. So there's a there's a bit of a difference here. Um, you know, that's uh, 600 more hours a year that uh, I put in over a 40-hour employee. That doesn't make me better. Uh, that's the job and the career path I chose. But it's easier for you to uh, put your mind around how many more hours I work if you break it down onto a 40-hour work week um, because that's what the majority of uh, people do work is 40 hours. So, uh, with that being said, okay, I earned uh, nine vacation days last year, okay? When we pick our vacation days, we pick them in November for the next year, okay? So, um, in November, we sit down, uh, we get on radios, all the fire stations get on a radio, and we pick our vacations. We have to take three days in a row. We call that a three-day set. We take those three days uh, in a row, and there's only so many people that can be off during... Uh, that particular set or those days. So it's limited. So it goes in a seniority bid order of when you get to pick uh, your vacation time. And if so many people have already picked those, uh, those particular days, you don't get them if you're on the bottom of the totem pole. So um, those vacations are scheduled. You don't come into work one day and say, hey, I'm gonna take vacation next week. No, we schedule that in November for the following year. Okay, so my vacation's already planned out. So the city knows I'm going to be off on these particular days so they can get people moved around, detailed to different fire stations to cover those shifts because we work 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So that shift has to be covered. So 
that just lets you know that uh, my scheduling for the next year's vacations are already done for this year because we picked them in November. So that might help out a little bit. I earned the six days on the last uh, report I did. I earned six days last year of sick time. Okay. So um, now the other big discrepancy in this report is our holiday pay. Okay. Holiday pay for a firefighter, uh, we don't get the day off. We don't get a holiday. We don't get a paid day off like uh, some employees do. Firefighters, we get um, we get straight time pay for eight hours of the holiday work. Perfect example is I worked on Christmas. So I got to work 30 minutes early. We got to 6.30. Uh, my shift starts at 7. I worked from uh, 7 in the morning to... 7 o'clock the next morning on the 26th. I got paid for 8 hours holiday pay, which is straight time pay, okay, for that day. Just 8 hours. Now, I worked a total of 17 hours during that holiday, okay? So, um, that's okay. That only got, because that's, I'm, I'm fine with that, okay? We're, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just letting you know that's how that breaks down. So, I make $19.32 an hour. I got that added on for eight hours of that holiday. Now, I receive my holiday pay at the end of the year. The last pay period of November, we get a check. It's kind of like a bonus, but it's really just our holiday uh, pay. Um, since we have to work all the holidays, somebody has to work all the holidays. It's in agreement with the city that they pay us in November on one check, all of our holiday pay, which is a nice benefit, okay? I love that benefit because it's right there at Christmas time. You get a little extra on that uh, end of uh, November paycheck. So that's good. But the problem is the news media doesn't report that. Instead, they want to say that you get the 13 days off plus the, uh, the 30 days of sick time that the person earned plus the four days of bonus. Now, that's not true, okay? That is a false statement. I'm not really sure what the agenda is behind the news media making the policemen and the firefighters and let's lump teachers in there too uh, to be the bad guys. Um, I'm a third generation Memphis firefighter, okay? My uh, grandfather got on the job in 1948, my dad got on the job in 1972. Uh, let me give you an example with my grandfather. He's 93 years old right now, okay? He retired in 1979. Uh, he draws his pension uh, from the same pension pool of money, and uh, his earnings are $960,000 since 1979. My grandfather's not rich, okay? Um, so why is it that the news media is pushing that firefighters are the bad guys? I don't know. Also, um, I'm going to let you in on another little secret. I had a, I've had a lot of people um, ask how much money is given to us for food allotments at the fire station because we're there for 24 hours. The city doesn't pay us a food allotment. That comes out of our own pockets. Uh, anything that you see in the fire station, the condiments, the coffee, um, the food that we cook, everything comes from the firefighters. So um, I just let that record be straight before the news media wants to harp in on some other garbage. Um, anything else you see in the fire station is normally uh, paid for or brought there by the firefighters, the televisions. Uh, we pay the cable bill. We pay the phone bill. We pay the newspaper bill. We lump that all up into a payment once a month. Each shift has their dues money that's paid for. Okay, The city doesn't provide that for us. They provide us with a bed and a shelter. Okay, uh, for us to run our fire trucks out of. So I hope that helps out with a little bit. And um, I'm really getting tired of having to defend uh, firefighters uh, in this city. Uh, this fire department does an excellent job. Uh, we're happy to do our job. Um, so, you know, hopefully this, uh, this will explain some stuff. So uh, for my brothers and sisters out there, continue to do a good job. Uh, I'm proud of you. I'm proud to be a part of this fire department and stay safe.